with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Pretty good weekend here in southern New England, although it was certainly pretty warm and especially humid, uh, especially for the first half of the day today. But the humidity's dropped. It's feeling a little better outside, but it's still warm. Live Doppler radar, despite the warmth and a little bit of humidity, there's no showers out there. Threat tracker tonight, Monday and Tuesday. Low chance of severe weather. Relatively quiet for the next few days. Here's a look at Providence from East Providence. Great view of the city here. Great view of the Newport Bridge from Narragansett. At 77 with a calm wind currently in Narragansett. Providence, 78 degrees, upper 70s in Taunton, New Bedford. Westerly, 78 degrees at the moment. 75 up in Smithfield with a dew point, still a little high there at 64, so it's still sticky. Dew points were in the mid to upper 60s earlier in the day. Now they've fallen down into the upper 50s and lower 60s, so it's a lot more comfortable now compared to where we were at this time yesterday. Sally radar picture, it's still pretty quiet across the northeast, just some high clouds zipping overhead. Front pushed offshore earlier in the day, allowing the less humid air to sink into southern New England. And we're looking at quiet weather as we head through your Sunday night and into your Monday. We're going to stop the hour by hour forecast. We're here at 8 o'clock in the morning. No issues for the AM commute. Afternoon looks okay. Evening commute and right into tomorrow evening. Barely a cloud in the sky. Let's take a look at Barry now. You can still see all the rain associated with it spinning into the center of circulation. Tropical depression. It's going to continue to dump a tremendous amount of rain from the Gulf Coast states all the way up into Missouri, Kentucky, and Tennessee. We are expecting what's left of Barry to continue to work its way on off to the north over the next several days. Kind of weaken, but the remnants of it, the rain showers, moisture energy will work its way into the northeast. I'm thinking Thursday night and into Friday that could change a little bit over time, but generally late in the week we are looking at the chance for some showers associated with Barry. The morning commute looks to be warm about 73 degrees dry roadways in the afternoon. Temperatures should be topping out in the mid 80s at the south coast. A little less humid, actually a lot less humid than what we had today. 85 in Providence, Situate 82, Coventry 82 over in Fall River, New Bedford, upper 70s to about 80 degrees, low humidity, lots of sunshine. Good day. Good day in the water as well. Winds up to 15 knots at times. Visibility, no issues. Small waves, mainly sunny skies on the beaches. Air temperature about 83 degrees with still small waves at area beaches. Dew point forecast, as I mentioned, gets pretty low tomorrow. Begins to creep back up Tuesday and especially by Wednesday, you'll notice the extra stickiness in the air. Here's the seven day forecast. Now Tuesday looks okay. Wednesday, there could be a spot shower around, especially later in the day on Thursday night and into Friday. Again, that's the timing I'm kind of uh, looking at for possibility of what's left of Barry to swing on through here. Just some rain showers, no wind or anything, but look at the temperatures through the week. Pretty warm, especially late in the week. Three straight days of 90 degree heat equals what, Kate? A heat wave. Oh, sing it. We got a heat wave possible <laughs> later in the week. Actually, the whole week's going to be pretty warm everywhere and especially humid into next weekend. And this will be the first heat wave. Of first this heat wave season. of the year, if we do it. Is, this is normal time for the first heat wave, or do you think one has already happened? Well, I'm gonna have usually to look up that fact, but it's hmm. usually in, in July that we got our first one. All right, coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, people are running away in panic after.